previously on My Farming Life. Welcome. Here we are. This is one of our two farms that we have in the family at the moment. And into South Healy we go. A good looking uh, flock of sheep up here. We're looking at about uh, there's a little bit more up here. about 200 up here, give or take. So all in all, we have enough to be a nuisance. Bungle, where are you? Are you here? Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my farm and life. Simulation 4 Nation here. You join me as we are cracking along with the silage this evening. Uh, cousin is there just wrapping up the bale, as you can well tell. Uh, he's not got too much more to do before he's all done there, really. That field's probably the poorest of them all. Uh, but the rest of them have been pretty darn good. There's Uncle just looking after that, uh, the straps on that trailer. Uh, got a couple more to load up here, and then we're away up to the yard to get these all wrapped up. This is going to be the first load that we're really bringing back. Brought a half a trailer load back before just to test a few things out. But this is the first one in any kind of earnest, really. So, what we'll do is get one more load up on here. And then we should be all good. All being well. And then uh, quite a few bales on here, to be honest. Not looking too, too bad at all. And yeah, hopefully that will continue through. Uh, we bought up the old telehandler from down at Moor Farm there. I drove this one up. Good Lord, is it an unpleasant thing to have to drive up. It's not quick at all. It wasn't built for for road, uh, road work in any way, shape or form. However, let's just uh, bring that one up to here. And we'll stick that there. We'll get this all wrapped up and uh, and strapped down. Bring this off. It is handy though having these. Oh, no, you don't. Nearly lost you. That's the first one that nearly lost off the edge. It's handy having two loads on the go. Uh, it does really speed the job up. I mean, we just kind of. There's, uh, my dad's not here today, so it's just going to be cousin, uncle, and myself there. And it just allows us to get going a little bit more without having to, you know, interrupt the wrapping at the other end there. And that's what I'm going to be on for the most part today is just sit there with, with the wrapper and just grind it along with that. So. That's going to work well. We'll just sit you down there properly. That's better. All right. Well, there's going to be a bit of a farmer's meeting happening over there. So we'll, Lord knows what they're talking about, but we'll leave them to it. I'm going to just drop this one over here now. Our uncle will be coming back for this very shortly. Leave that about there and knock you off. Um, yeah, it's a fine looking machine. It's we, We've looked after it as well as we can there and we never really thought about increasing it or going for a new one. Oh, I need to put another bale on there. Let's get that one taken care of. Uh, if only because we... For the work that we're doing near the farm, between the two telehandlers there, it's more than enough for what we need there. So, uh, But the more and more that we find ourselves splitting our, our time between two yards, the more this is uh, becoming a little bit more relevant really and a little bit more useful and in demand and i think it's going to be something that at one stage soon we might have to look at in my opinion but oh, what we'll do is just uh, swaps onto the other side and we get this one all loaded up but yeah i mean it is slow to, if you're doing a lot of work in it good lord is it slow which is why we won't be doing the wrapping with this one or we don't on either farm uh we'll leave we've got the map pro up there which in itself is not a new machine by any stretch, but it does a, a grand job for what we need of it. Uh, okay, well that's on. That'll do. Got both the Fords on the go with the with the uh, carton today, and uh, I think Uncle's going to take the 78 there when he's done. I'm going to stick the strap on over here on the uh, 77, and then we're all good. All right, let's get this all done anyway. Oh, hello. How are we getting on? Aye, not too bad. We've got a bit of an issue with the baler. Oh, is that why you stopped, is it? Yeah, the net wrap is sticking and won't feed consistently. Can he still make a bale or is it, uh, it going to be a bit more serious than that? He can still bale. It's just not a very tidy, neat bale when it comes out. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. There's more grass here than I thought there would be. No, there definitely is more grass. Yeah, I was surprised when I was mowing it down. Makes up for that first uh, cut that we had anyway. It sure does. We'll get your cousin to take the Massey to Bellum for tomorrow when he's done. Sounds good to me. You want to follow me up with the 78? And we'll uh, we'll take this up to the yard and we'll get these unloaded? Yep. Sounds like a plan. 
That was like plan. I'll get this one strapped down and then if you want to just pull the 78 up, that's all strapped down anyway and we'll get going. Perfect. First real mechanical issues for the bailer. It's never ideal, but we'll we'll get through it, I suppose. All right, well, he's got himself in ready to go already. That ground almost looks a bit soft over there. Let's hope it's not that bad. Okay, so... We're on the way. Let's see how we get on here. So some heavy old bales here. Uh, we will get these all wrapped and stacked. We've wrapped up a few, like I said, we're just more testing and samples. Uh, cousin has that one uh, little field through the uh, through the gap here, which is actually the first one that we mowed down. He's got that to do, and he's left that to last because it's easiest one to get it, get out really. And uh, good lord, was I hit a pothole there or something? Heavens. Uh, so he's left that one and then he'll be um, on the woods down to Bellum down to Moor Farm So we can because uh, yeah, dad's down that way at the moment uh, cracking on with a bit of mowing oh, Actually, he's not right. He's trying to get on with mowing but He's got a lot of other stuff to do and until we finish up with the tractors we, He won't be able to do any mowing anyway. So because uh, we have the the old case up here as well on the uh, the wrapper so all systems go but yeah, we'll get ourselves up here. We'll unleash the map, bro, and see what we can get going with a little bit of uh, wrapping here. Uh, we'll have to get the case fired up. I believe he's not right behind me, but he's somewhere. Uh, the 70 is probably feeling the grunt of the, the load up here, but we will get ourselves into position and uh, we'll see how, how he's getting along. Uh, but yeah, we're going to stack everything over here so that we'll just get ourselves kind of around this corner and see what that's going to look like. And I think we'll stop the first one about here. All right, I think I just heard the roar of the 78 coming up. So we'll get out with the telehandler here. And let's just see what's happening there. He is. All right. Into the faithful old map, bro. And let's go and have a quick see what Uncle needs to do. Well, you made up there just then. Right, yeah. It puts the old girl through her paces a bit. Yeah, seeing as there's uh, just the two of us now, uh, you want me to stay up here? I'll uh, unload, wrap and stack. And then you can just keep, keep taking tractors down and load them up at the other end. Sounds good to me. I'll load myself up down there until your cousin gets back. Perfect. All right, well, the first one's kind of in position for where I want to get it so I can unload easily. So if you want to stick the... Uh, the 7810 behind that one once we free up a bit more space. That'll be grand and we'll work from there. Yeah. All right. Excellent. All right. So I also need to go and just start up the case. Uh, I hope I've left myself enough space to get through here. I guess we'll find out. No, we have to move that one forward as well. Actually, you know what? We can squeeze through there. There you go. Wonderful stuff. The Mighty Case. This is the probably one track that you haven't seen too much of actually so far. Uh, this is our lovely 956. It's in great nick. It doesn't do too much apart from pull the feeder wagon up here. Uh, that's why it's on this because it's, uh, the wagon was up here already. We had to bring it up. Uh, but it's loud. It is loud. I won't lie. And uh, we're going to leave that to do its thing. Engage it there. So we should be looking good. All right. So yeah, that'll be... It does smoke a little bit. It is a smoker. Uh, so we have to keep an eye on it. But, it's, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't owe us anything. Uh, like I've said with a lot of our tractors there, none of them owe us anything. They're all just ready and set. So that's great. And hopefully that's how it will continue as well. Uh, but what we'll do, we're going to keep stacking them in here. As you can see, we've got four done. It's a bit of a test I did earlier on. 
uh yeah we should be should be looking okay then so just get that unloaded let's get this one cleared away first and then we'll see just how we get going with this oh barely got to hold that one but it's on that's the main thing stick this one over here somewhere for now looks like we're about to lose it as well actually that's not ideal All right, that's on. And then we can just get cracking here, all being well. Uh, a little bit of awkward space in here to kind of move around. Uh, again, another reason why we use this telehandler, not the old load all there, because that's just too numb. This one is a bit bigger, yes, but it will, it will get us through there without too many concerns. All right, there we go. Nicely does it. And we'll be on now like i say this is our second cut really here so there will be more coming no doubt uh we'll see aim will be first to do a uh get ourselves a third cut in here at some stage or other we do want to get some more hay though we do need to feed quite a few sheep with our hay so um that will be something we'll have to look into at some stage but we will just continue to see what this what season does for us so far harvest is well late spring early summer has been okay it was pretty unkind to us to begin with, uh, with the, the lack of good growing weather early spring. But right now, you know, it's not doing too badly. So if it continues like that, then we'll be golden. And uh, you should get another good crop off here anyway. There's a few more fields up here that we haven't cut yet. One over the over the, uh, the Ford. Uh, and then, well, behind us really, in the, in the pasture there. That's going to get knocked down some stage or other as well. So there's plenty for us to keep going at. We just need to... Uh, Get the rest of the stuff done over at Moor Farm as well first, and then we'll come back up and get this all done, uh, which is the plan for us here, really. Yeah, this is uh, all going relatively well. I was surprised at how much grass we got off that first cut, uh, or that first lot of the second cut there, to be honest, given what the first cut looked like and how much of a travesty that was. Uh, this has turned out to be okay. All right, this is not going to sit on here very well at this angle, but we'll hope for the best. While that's loading up, I'm going to just get another one, try and speed this operation up a little bit here where we can. Uh, lots of bales to get through here today. Uncle just sitting there quietly with a champ. Alright, we've got it, but not very well. We might have to pick that one up again. Oh, it's rolled back in, fortunately. Alright, well, we'll have to have a little bit of a fiddle around, I think. See if we can get a bit more space to this situation somewhere. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. That was a bit close to the, the wrapper where that one fell. Uh, but, okay. We're, we're making some progress anyway there's a lot for us to get through here like i say uh we will be just a one two man job here for the time being but we'll make we'll, we'll crack through a little bit more and then we'll come back to you when we're uh when we made a little bit more of an update well all right then uncle has nicked off with the 77 and i uh, will swing this into position and uh yeah start to unload this it's starting to get a bit dusky this evening already uh time does fly and uh we'll have to see how we get on with this one and get this unloaded but we'll get that next trail load load up there it's gonna be a late evening at this rate because we can't really stop until we get all of this lot done uh so that's just what it's gonna be busy old evening on the wrapping uh which i don't mind too much best to get it done so we'll just try and shift this one first if we can and then get going they're wrapping quite well nice and tight at the moment good looking straight bale that welger bale of ours does make a very nice bale i do like it uh it's getting on a bit but hopefully whatever issues cousin was having uh he's been able to resolve because we could do without that being an issue just as we start into harvest there a lot of hay and straw to, to make with that still uh so we can only hope 
Uh, all right. Well, what we'll do is just keep going. I say we will uh, get this all wrapped up. We will be going three high, which I'll probably start doing very shortly here, actually. Uh, once we are all set and all good. Easy does it. There you go. All right. And so, yeah, we can start getting... Uh, we'll get this next button row in, then we'll go up a level. And, yeah, we should have it all filled up nice and easily. And then that's going to be us for... For the little while and us for this video here as we get going through it as well so i hope you have enjoyed this has been another update from my farm and life welcome along if you are new there thank you very much for all the support the feedback and the comments from the first episode if you haven't watched it do go back and find that one out i will be bringing you more from myself from dad cousin and uncle as we get into this series as well but yeah lots to cover and lots to get cracking with so until then thank you very much for watching do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always subscribe if you're new hit that like button if you haven't already i really do appreciate it and we will see you all in the next one. Until then, thank you very much. And we'll see you next time.